The Angelina and Natchez River Authority is in the final stages of a grant process that will help them supply water from Dye Ball to Prairie Grove Utilities. If the grant is approved and is funded by the Texas Water and Development Board, customers will see a rate increase. KTRE's Avery Gorman shows us why. The Angelina and Nietzsche's River Authority submitted an application to the Texas Water and Development Board to fund a $7.2 million project to bring water supply to Prairie Grove Utilities. This is an area that has struggled with water quality and supply issues. The long-term plan consists of building a permanent water line from the city of Dybal to the area. General Manager for ANRA Kelly Holcomb says they are in the last stage of the grant application process, the loan commitment phase. They take that application and they submit it to their board of directors. Their board of directors will then approve it and issue a loan commitment to us. So the chances of us getting this loan at this point, 98%. Holcomb says that the customers of Prairie Grove Utilities as of January 1st saw a rate increase for their water. This is something that will continue to happen as the grant loan is paid back. Betty Price, a resident of the area, says a lot of people who live here are on a fixed income. It's going to hurt all of us because we all are really handicapped around. Here. Tanya Calderon says she moved to the area when she was three. She says when she moved to the area, the base rate for water was 1212. The last few years, it was raised to 3535. Uh, the, the houses that are out here that are on a f the fixed income and stuff like that, that increase, I mean, they're not increasing their water demand, but their price of the water is, is going up, and so therefore they're going to have to cut corners different ways to find that money. Holcomb says he understands the worry the people in Prairie Grove have. However, what do you do? How do you balance that need for an upgraded water supply that's safe to drink and cost? Avery Gorman, KTRE East Texas News 9. Now, a temporary line from Dye Ball to Prairie Grove is set to be installed before summer. Holcomb says rates will increase in three parts for this project. By how much is unknown at this time.